I'm Ava. Welcome to Church at Home. I am so excited to start celebrating a very special day with you that is coming really soon. Do you know what day that is? It's Easter. Easter is when we celebrate that Jesus is alive for us. Wow. Our big idea today reminds us that Easter is all about Jesus and how much he loves us. Our big idea says, Jesus loves me. Are you ready to say that? Repeat after me. Jesus loves me. Great job. Jesus died on the cross so that we could be in his family. And he did that because he loves you. We celebrate Easter because it's the time when we remember that Jesus died for us. But guess what? He came back to life. Jesus is still alive today and he loves you so much. That's why we celebrate. Let's sing a song called Alive to help us celebrate that Jesus is alive because he loves us. So stand on up and get ready to dance and sing together. We're gonna to sing this song called Alive. It is about how Jesus is alive today. It's not just a story in a book, it is true. So we're gonna sing that right now. It's not just a story, here we go. It's not just a story, he's alive today. The tomb is empty, forever I am changed because of his love. Sing out, because of his great love. Because of his great love. And sing, he took my failures. He took my failures, forgiven all my sin. He is my savior and life will never end because of his love. Sing out, because of his great love. Because of his great love. Let's sing out the cross. The cross was where Jesus died for all my sin. But on the third day he would breathe once again. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. Sing out, he's alive. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. The Savior has risen. So we sing it loud just to praise him. Again. I know he's coming, he's coming back again. The Holy Spirit was given as a friend because of his love. Sing out because of his great love. Because of his great love. Let's sing out the cross. The cross was where Jesus died for all my sin. But on the third day he would live. The Savior. much fun singing about how Jesus is alive. The Easter story isn't just a story like one we read in our favorite books. 
It's real and it really happened. Jesus died on the cross and came back to life because he loves us so much. We can know that story is true because we read about it in this special book. Do you know what book this is? It's the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that tells us stories about real people and places from a long time ago. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but today I want you to hear one that shows us how much Jesus loves us. So let's put on our thinking caps and listening ears and watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, the lost sheep. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ugh, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, uh, hmm. What will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me, because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. Wow! Did you see how the shepherd looked all over for his lost sheep because he loved his sheep and wanted it to be close to him? Jesus told the story to teach us about how much he loves us. We are like the sheep and Jesus is like the shepherd. He knows all of us. He even knows everything about us and he wants all of us to be close to him. He doesn't want anyone to be lost. That Bible story tells us why Jesus did the miracle we celebrate at Easter. Because he loves us and he wants us to be in his family. There is a verse in the Bible that will tell us all about how much God loves us. But, oh no, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's pop all the bubbles. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them out of sight. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look, we can see our Bible verse now. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Wow, that Bible verse tells us that God loves us so much, and that's why he sent Jesus. Jesus came to save us so that anyone who believes in him can belong to his family. 
Let's praise and thank God for sending Jesus to save us by singing that song out together. Let's stand up and sing John 3.16. This song is John 3.16. How God sent His one and only Son Jesus to save us from our sins. You guys, we're gonna sing about that right now, all together. Let's go like this. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. We sang that God loved the world so much that He sent Jesus. That means He loves me and you and everyone in the whole world. Wow! We can know that Jesus loves us because He died on the cross for us. But the story gets even better because He is alive. We can choose to follow Jesus and love Him back. Just like we saw the shepherd celebrate when his sheep was found, Jesus and all of heaven celebrates whenever someone chooses to believe in Jesus and be in his family. I know some friends who want to help us learn more about how much Jesus loves us. It's Jim and Gift. And this week, they have a fun game for all of us to play with our Scuppet friends. Hmm, I wonder who it could be. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and get ready for Game On. Hi friends, I'm Jim. And I'm Gift. And this is Game, Game On. On. Every show, we will have a new challenge for you to complete with one of our Scuppet friends. So are you ready to play a game? I know I am. All of our games are going to help us remember Jesus. Today's game is about finding something that is lost. Um, kind of like the story of Jesus told about the lost sheep. Yes, Jesus told a story in the Bible about a shepherd who had 100 sheep, but one was lost. The shepherd went to look for the lost sheep, and when he found the sheep, he celebrated! Woohoo! We are like the lost sheep, and Jesus is like the shepherd. We aren't really sheep. I don't have sheep wool on my skin, and I can talk instead of saying all the time, but we are special, just like the sheep, because God made us, He loves us, and wants to be our friend. That's why our big idea is Jesus loves me. Can you say that with me on three? One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus loves, loves me. me. We know Jesus loves us because He died on the cross for us. Then He came back to life. We can choose to believe in Him and follow Him. And when we do that, we get to be in God's family. Jesus is so happy when we choose to follow Him. And there is a celebration in heaven when you make that choice. So just remember, Jesus loves you. And we can remember that and the story of the lost sheep as we play our game. Let's open up one of these eggs to see which scuppet we'll be playing with you. Hmm. 
<gasps> Winston! Woohoo! Okay, friends, stand up and stretch to the sky. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now tickle your toes. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Now stretch your arms as far as you can. It's time to play Game, game on. on! Hello, Game On friends! Are you ready to play? There's a sheep that's lost and we have to find it. We may have to jump, duck, and run in place. Just follow me and I know we'll win! Game On! down now and take a rest. And the sheep reminds us of our Bible story about the lost sheep and our big idea. Who remembers our big idea? Jesus loves me. Let's say that one last time on the count of sheep. Ba, ba, sheep. Jesus, Jesus loves me. me. Jesus really does love you and we all do too. Thanks for joining us for Game, Game On. on. See you next time! Wow! Great job! You helped Winston find the lost sheep. That was so much fun! And that game reminded us of the shepherd who found the lost sheep. The sheep was so special to the shepherd, and you are so special to Jesus. He loves you and he wants to be your friend. That's why we celebrate Easter, because Easter is all about Jesus' love for you. So let's spend time talking to Jesus right now. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a quiet prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for the amazing miracle you did so that we can be in your family. Help us to remember the real reason we celebrate at Easter. It's because you showed us how much you love us and you say we are special to you. We love you. And all God's children said, Amen. Great job, friends. Before we go, I have a question. Do you remember our big idea? Let's say it together one more time. One, two, three. Jesus loves me. You did it. I have had so much fun with you learning that Jesus loves us. We'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.